I think we found the ghost of Oscar the Grouch. Published by Scary Desk in September of 2021, something ghoul-like was seen crawling out of the ground from under a trash can, nearly the same color as its surroundings. The creature is almost camouflaged against the mud and mossy background as it attempts to creep out from under the wall. It reaches for the sky. As the camera zooms in, it disappears, but its shape appears to be imprinted into the wall behind it. What do you make of this video? Just CGI? Or a genuine demon or extraterrestrial trying to escape? Warning, what you're about to see in this haunted forest might send you over the edge. Published by Fatose Mysterios in May of 2022, the paranormal crew head into a haunted forest at night, and what they will find there will forever haunt them. While wandering through the darkness, they encounter this horrifying sight, a figure dressed in white. The crew immediately flees the scene but slowly makes their way back, but the figure has vanished. Their camera also seems to be crashing. Where did the mysterious figure disappear to? And what was it doing there in the first place? This one leaves us with more questions than answers. I feel like this has gotta be a bad omen. Posted to the oddly terrifying subreddit, Lacuna writes, These crows have been screaming outside my apartment for 14 hours now. The video shows hundreds, if not thousands of crows circling at random in the overcast sky. The site is horror movie ominous. Some in the comments say they may be mourning the passing of a high-status crow. Redditor Vexris FXIV writes, They're probably just talking slash chilling and they do that for warmth and safety. Are these crows really just chit-chatting? For 14 hours, though. Or is this a bad omen? Keep your eyes peeled when entering a graveyard. Spirits may be lurking just out of sight. Published by Ghost and Demon in July of 2015, this footage was captured in a cemetery by Ghost Episodes. Two large pillars stand amid dozens of white marble headstones. All appears normal. That is, until something white steps out from behind one of the pillars. It peeks around for a moment before pulling back and disappearing like vapor. Now this had me freaked out. Most in the comments think this is a genuine ghost sighting. Do you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This one's a lot more boo than peak. Published by Fun with SK in May of 2022, and originally published by YouTuber Simply Sareth, this scary video captured something creepy playing peekaboo around a corner. Sareth is outside this haunted home, his camera facing the front door, when his night vision footage captures this creepy creature peering around the doorway. What is this figure? It certainly looks human in size, but is it a ghost? Or is it just a living human being so super creepy? I think these are questions we'll never get the answers to. If you hold a ceremony in the house of a known witch, you can expect exactly what's about to happen in this video. Published in February of 2022 by the channel Paranormal Point, evil came out of a mirror when this paranormal investigator prompted it to. He sees a shadow move in the mirror. Is someone in the room with him? Upon his arrival, he found these realistic candles already set up. He believes the witch was performing her ceremonies in front of this mirror. 
After he lights the candles, the nearby stool starts to take on a life of its own. But the real question is, what is living in this mirror? Is it a demon? As the spirit box communicates, When the man stands in front of the mirror, he feels someone behind him. I'd wager it's the shadow figure we saw earlier in the corner. Ready to explore one of Ohio's most dangerous abandoned places? Neither am I. Let's leave it up to Urbex Dane, who published this urban exploration of Elderwood in August of 2017. According to Dane, this street is one of the most dangerous areas in this half-abandoned city. Willing to take the risk, he entered an empty building on the creepy abandoned Cleveland Street. While inside, a truck pulls up. The truck starts beeping and is playing music loudly. Still, Urbex continues exploring but peers out a second-story window to see who's there. It's not clear what this dude's purpose is. And that strangeness is turned up a notch when a group enters as Dane continues through the home. Unsure of what to do, he waits. Are these just more urban explorers? Or is something more nefarious going on? He creeps out into the hall, which is empty, as is the stairwell, and yet he doesn't leave. Instead, he heads upstairs. Down another stairwell, he hears this. That's where his battery runs out. Don't worry, he survived, but he doesn't know what was going on or who these strangers were. Many are noting in the comments that this could very well have been dangerous, and he was lucky he got out of there alive. This abandoned prison castle was built in 1865 and was used to house all types of scary people. It was a transitory prison before sending prisoners to hard labor or exile. Now it apparently houses actual ghosts. Published by Toppy in November of 2021, these paranormal investigators went to visit the dark and mysterious place. Here is what they found. Outside, they walk around the wall where lives were ended. Then they head inside. The investigator notes that they say they've heard some coughing. Inside the cells, they listen but hear nothing. <laughs> They come across strange windows, perhaps built for ventilation, lockable slots, likely to deliver food to the inmates, and a shower room. In one hallway, they find this figure, posed like a statue. We aren't sure what its story is, but it towers over the place like it's floating. At one point, a strange, unexplained noise is recorded as they're talking, and another sound is heard, like blowing on metal. They also hear a door bang at a distance. They say they feel like they're not alone here. Perhaps they aren't. But is their company alive or paranormal? This place needs signs saying, do not enter. Published in May of 2022, Hassan Barbar is searching through an abandoned building. When he sees this dark figure through a window, it looks like a djinn. The figure quickly moves out of view. <laughs> ابعت لي 
and when Hassan enters the room, he is gone. Hassan locks himself inside the now empty room, but it seems like something is still in the room with him. He spies something written on the wall. Is it a message from the djinn? He turns to look in this cupboard again, and the lights are again messed with, and that's not the only havoc in the room. As he looks around, he turns back to the overhanging lights, and suddenly there's a bucket covering one of them. When he reaches up to touch the light, it's almost like he's electrocuted. Something then obscures his camera. It's the bucket from the light. What is happening here? Hassan is not sure, but I suspect it's the djinn's handiwork. Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers next. Thank you.